This is Dan with Blue Dog Farms, head cowologist. And this is my mineral trailer, but is also my water trailer. Got the uh, water trough here on the front um, in the pastures that I need to have it. And I came up here yesterday and this trough was empty. Um, the reason it's empty is because I'm about 100 feet above the pump and I'm at the limit of the, the height and distance that that pump will, will push water. Uh, when I left, after I moved this, there was water coming out of the hose and I thought we were okay, but it'll only come out of the hose if the pump runs. So when I came up the next day, the, the, the cows, had, uh, the water wasn't keeping up with the cows. So I had to move the cows to a place where there was already a water trough, um, a, a concrete water trough that's spring fed. And uh, now I need to come up with a, uh, a creative way that I can get water to the rest of the pasture for the, for the cows to drink um, and still be able to graze the rest of this out this fall. If you see the house down there, There's the pond, a little dock. That's where the pump is. And we're easily 100 feet above an elevation above that, plus we're about 600 feet away that it's got to push through this garden hose. And uh, I have a different well and pump that would reach here, but it's been such a dry year that that well wouldn't keep up with the cows either and the pump was just sitting there trying to pump water it didn't have so I'm not able to use that well this year. Uh, there'll be another video on how we're going to fix that. But right now I need to get water to the cows so we can graze the rest of this pasture. I've got maybe another um, Oh, I guess I've got another six weeks of grazing here if I can get water to the cows. So let's go see what we're going to do. Hey, 38. So I got two 275 gallon totes. So each one will hold 275 gallons of water. They, um, they had vinegar in them before, um, raw apple cider vinegar, uh, so there's no danger to the cattle. In fact, they like it. Here's 38's trying to get some, aren't you? And I'm going to put them in this trailer. The, uh, the weight's going to be a little excessive for this trailer, but we're not going on the road. We're just going up into the field, so just take it real easy. And... Uh, should be okay. Well, we'll just hope that it's okay. Anyway, uh, so that's the project today is to get these put in the trailer and um, plumb together so that I can run a garden. I, I can park this trailer at the top of the hill and run a garden hose down and just let gravity fill that water trough and uh, be able to graze the rest of this pasture. So I need. Uh, I need to go rinse them out. I'm going to rinse them out even even though it's just vinegar. I'm going to get the, there's kind of some clumpy stuff on the bottom. So I'm going to go rinse it out. Isn't that right, 38? I'll leave that alone. We don't want to eat that.
I have an audience. All right, I've got the first one in place. I guess I had to take those racks off. Make it easier to reach stuff, but anyway, let's, uh, I'll pull the pickup ahead and we will do the second one. All right, so I think I've got them, got them in. They're connected together by this one inch hose, braided hose. And this is a, a, a garden hose fitting. So uh, I can park this up at the top of the hill, run a garden hose to it. And gravity will feed the, uh, the watering trough. Now, and here, I put this four by four so that the one front or rear tote wouldn't um, be pushing against the, the fitting here uh, and break it. So I put this four, four by four in to, to keep it spaced. And I've got this strap going around so they don't slide out the back. Now, I was hoping to just shut the tailgate, but as you can see, it sticks out even... Um, Without that fitting, uh, I wouldn't be able to close the uh, tailgate because of the, the plumbing in the back. But it's it's pretty close. The strap will hold it in. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be taking it real easy, and I'm I'm uh, just going to be pulling it slowly with the tractor, and uh, uh, it should be just fine. So I'm going to go eat lunch and bring a load of cows back when I come. And after, after that, I'm going to fill this up and, and uh, take it to the top of the hill. Now, I can't leave this because the cows are in here and they will break that off before I get back. So I'm going to go ahead and hook the tractor up and move it out of here where the cows can't get it. And uh, then go eat lunch.
Somewhere. <laughs> Go. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's cheating. You have such big thumbs. All right. <laughs> you gotta like throw your arm in the air and yaw and all that. amazing thing ever. Mm -hmm. Scissors. Ready? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Oh no. <laughs>
well, I got it up here. This is probably twice as much weight as this trailer is supposed to have on it. I don't know if you can see the tires. I'll get a close-up of them here in a minute. But the springs are clear down on the frame and the tires are half flat. But we're up on the hill and we'll uh, get the fence set up and the, the hose strung out. We'll see how, uh, how well the water runs downhill. Alright, it's the next day and it's raining. So we're going to turn this on and go down and make sure it's coming out at the other end. One thing I have to remember to do is take uh, the little lid off the top so the air gets in. So we'll do that first. And turn this ball valve on. And I hear water going out, so that's good. Go down and look at the other end. Uh, no reason why it shouldn't, but I'm just happy that it's working. So I am going to dump this just to clean it out, and uh, we're going to put cows in here. 